Garrett, it's no secret you wanted to be a New York Yankee, part of the reason that you signed here. Anything special about receiving that award here in New York City? Well, yeah, I mean, this has been my favorite team since I've been a kid. So, um, you know, when you get a chance to contribute to what the Yankees are and, and their brand and a lot of the history that they have, um, it's, it's really, really special. What do you like about this city? I mean, obviously we're walking around here a little bit, but it's different during the season, I imagine, than in the offseason. Well, it's just always going, you know. Um, we got in real late last night and, and, and walked to get something to eat, and it was, uh, you know, we were dodging people left and right. And um, I think that's, uh, you know, you can be on a plane for five or six hours, but when you put your feet down in New York, there's just, a, there's just an energy or a buzz that, um, that just kind of fills you up. Does it make you want to go a little bit more when it you It does get make here? you want to go, you yeah. know? You're like, everybody's on the up, everybody's got somewhere to go, and so it's just kind of, I don't know, it's contagious a bit. Favorite restaurant in the city? There's a restaurant uh, in the in the village, uh, Anton's, and they, they love taking care of my kids, so mm -hmm. that's that's a great, uh, that's kind of a great family environment and, and, and top-notch food as well, so that would probably be our, our favorite. What do the boys like doing in the city? Um, they like going to different parks. Um, they love, you know, spotting trucks. I mean, there's so many different vehicles with different colors. Um, so oftentimes just to walk around. There's a baseball card shop up the street. So we'll go and pick up a pack and see if we get anybody cool. And um, especially Caden just loves, um, just loves the people. He's always making friends with, with whoever we walk into the coffee shop with or a breakfast place or whatever it may be. You mentioned the cards. Were you a big card collector growing up? I would just try to, you know, collect players, players that I liked, but I didn't have any of the special cards. Now, like, I'm signing all these cards for Tops or Fanatics or whatever it is now, and it's just like, there's always like a new limited edition set. I mean, we never really had those type of things when I was a kid, and so um, I think if we did, though, I, I might have been a little bit more into it. So overall, what has this off season been like for you? What have you been up to? Yeah, I've had a lot of I had a lot of weddings and. Um, and my sister's is coming up in a couple of weeks, so that's really exciting. And uh, and then off to spring, um, been relatively busy and uh, and and training hard. I started throwing it off the off the mound a couple of weeks, uh, about a week and a half ago now. So um, everything's rolling along right on schedule. Garrett Cole at a wedding. Is he in his seat or is he on the dance floor? I'm on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to <laughs> dance a little bit. Um, I bring an extra pair of shoes for the late night too to get out of the dress shoes. Makes sense. Yeah. That's a that's a big woman move. You get out of the heels, you put the sneakers on, uh, yeah. and you go all night yeah. long. All right, well maybe on our next feature on yes, we'll get into the dance. Okay. Moves. Okay. Last season was so magnificent. How do you go about trying to duplicate that? I think I just take it one year at a time. And so, you know, the first objective is to just get physically ready to handle uh, you know, the jump start in spring training. So, I mean, from, from my perspective right now, that's first and foremost the most important. Um, there are some things uh, strategically that I think that, you know, the cutter and the curveball, um, I'd, I'd like to be able to try to locate those um, a little bit better and more consistently, um, especially the cutter that gives me a good chance uh, for both right-handers and left-handers. So those are kind of, you know, on my mind as we keep moving forward, but right now it's just about getting ready to, to nail those first couple bullpens. Did you feel like you got a better handle on your cutter in the second half of last season? I, was, I felt like the first time where it became like a viable pitch, yeah. I mean, it was um, it was just so hit and miss as I was learning it over the, like kind of the past year. And then, um, I don't know, I just started to get kind of the strength in the hand to be able to stay through the pitch over and over again, and it just added an extra variable. You are always tinkering. You're a perfectionist, trying to be better, better. Even after a season like you had last year, what drives you? Why do you think the, you're opposition, like that? the opposition, <laughs> they're going to be coming after me. Um, we got big goals, so, um, you know, we got to anticipate, you know, how, how somebody might be making an adjustment. Um, but I, I, it's just, you know, kind of internal drive. Like, it's, it's, um, it's part of who I am, and, and, and you know, if it wasn't baseball, it would probably be, you know, another profession. I would, I would have probably the similar, similar characteristics. So just trying to be the best I can and, and, and squeeze the most out of what God has given me. And uh, obviously, I love competing for the Yankees, and we're trying to win a World Series, and, and people are coming after us. So 
we gotta we gotta stay sharp. What was your favorite moment of last season, personally? Well, yeah, it's hard to say that the last game wasn't one of those games. Um, and I would say also like opening day was was that was just like a what a nice like family environment. It was just a great day. Have you set goals for 2024? Uh, yeah, obviously we're trying to get to the World Series and win the World Series, um, and then yeah, make all my starts and 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 do my job. So those are probably top three things. You like the moves the Yankees have made this offseason? You got Soto, you got Verdugo, you got Stroman, you got a couple extra pieces yeah, this year. Absolutely, Grisham as well. Um, look, we acquired, we, we were obviously right-handed heavy and we acquired three left-handers that have hit, um, had over 500 bats in the last three seasons consecutively. So these guys are ready to play every single day and, and we know that the talent that they bring, um, Grisham is, is, is really, really strong with the glove in center field, one of the best in the game. Obviously, Juan Soto is, is probably the best left-handed hitter in the game. Um, and Verdugo is is just such a tough out. Like, another career 400 on-base percentage guy. Like, the more, the more times we can put pressure on the opposition to have to navigate through traffic, the more times we get an opportunity to capitalize on a, on a mistake pitch or, or, you know, a leverage situation. So those are awesome. And then from the pitching side, you know, I've competed against Marcus for a long time here and there. I think we came up to the big leagues probably right around the same time. And I mean, the the, the guy can pitch, there's no doubt. Um, he's pitched in a lot of big games and um, just from watching him on the other side of the field, he knows what he's doing. And he's he's really consistent when he's out on the field in terms of limiting runs and, and giving us a lot of innings. So um, super excited to, to get going with these guys. When you get to this point in time in the off season, do, yeah. you, do you start getting that itch? Yeah, I got the itch like maybe like, uh, I don't know, I got off the mound the other day for the first time and I, I threw a bunch of strikes and that kind of that kind of fired me up. That kind of lit the fire again. So playing just, you know, occasional catch like right after the season has helped me keep my feel. And I do have like really defined pitches at this point, which is maybe a little bit ahead of schedule. So those factors kind of like keep the fire like almost ready to go and then you know and then you get out on the mound your first time you go like 12 for 15 you're you're ready to go you're, you're fired up